Oh, here it is. He's closing in. Come on, then. The first knives are gonna poke your heels a little bit. This here, as you all might know it, is Bob. Now, Bob is usually my go-to human when it comes to testing things because he's, you know, he's really good at taking the beating. But today, or I don't really know, but for the time being, we've got another guy over here. Say hello to Herbert. This lovely feller is, um... Some sort of a testing dummy, I don't really know, but I thought we should, you know, give Bob something back for once and uh, equip him a gun. Like, that. oh, don't shoot yourself in the foot. No. Oh God, I completely forgot how to do this. Okay, we need, we, I need your hand. There you go. Pick up the gun, nice. And that is not the way you hold a gun, but that's the way, you know, it's fine. As long as you don't point it at your forehead, I think you're gonna be okay. So there we go. Don't shoot your own penis off. And there you go, yeah. Doesn't that feel amazing? You see, Herbert doesn't really care. He's an inanimate object. I probably messed that up. So he can't feel anything. You know, he's got a lovely little hat on, and it's, I think he's an alcoholic. So he is, you know, his son, is, when he's gotten enough beating, he's just gonna take to the bottle and not anymore because the bottle is gone. Now, right, we can drop this gun, of course, because we don't need, don't shoot it. And then we're gonna take a knife and we're not gonna stab your own hand with it, but we are gonna stab Herbert with it. And we're gonna put Herbert to, through some more tests later on because I've got something lined up that I think we're all gonna like. But let's just give this a final little, final little test then. Let's get one of the, not the gun, toss the gun away. Let's get a syringe, there you go. I think this is a zombie syringe, you see, there you go. Just really work on him. But I, I, I think a lot of other things are gonna work much better, so that's gonna be a lot of fun, but you just can't skip the real deal, which is why we've got another Bob strap. Oh, I just, I think I broke his arm. It's fine, it's fine. We've got plenty of more Bobs to go around, but that's why we've got them over there. Herbert, goodbye. Oh, crap, goodbye. We're gonna walk and slowly and surely we should stab him in the, in the something and we should turn him into us. I, I don't know what we're gonna turn him into. Uh, nothing apparently. Uh, yup, crap, sorry, sorry. Could you drop the syringe? Could you drop it? Okay, could you could you please pick up the knife? There you go, the knife! And then we just, oh, sorry, crap, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh no, oh, that's really bad. There's one thing that I wanna try out. The guy to the left is something called a shapeshifter. Now, whatever this guy touches, he will essentially turn into. So over here, right? I've got a zombie syringe, okay? And this is a normal human. Now there's nothing special about him. Just, you know, your regular good old Bob. And we're gonna stick this zombie syringe into him. And then we're gonna see if the shapeshifter that is slowly decaying from the human form can, you know, take the zombie form. So here we go. Nice. And um, Bob should turn into a zombie ever so, ever so slowly. Uh, just like the shapeshifter is slowly turning into, um, to whatever. I can also, like, abandon the current skin, and that will make the shapeshifter go back to whatever that is. It's like his basic form, okay? So now this human here is turning into a zombie. And I think if we inspect him, we can see that he has 67% rotted limbs, okay? So he, he is on the verge of being 100% zombie. Now let's see. Let's get the syringe out of there. Let's see if the shapeshifter can either save him, or just steal the powers and they'll, they'll both die. <gasps> oh, wait, did you switch places? What happened? The shapeshifter is now a zombie and the human is now the shapeshifter. What? This needs to be tested on. Okay, here is regular human. Oh, oh no. Oh, I, th I think, I think this is, I think this is really bad. This is Genos, right? From One Punch Man. He's super strong. He's kind of a hybrid, but I'm thinking, okay, if the shapeshifter is as good as he is, he should be able to just yoink the powers. <gasps> it worked. Is he, is he Ge Genos? C can he shoot stuff? Is he, is he powerful? Oh my God, what happened? The ultimate test. Can the shapeshifter steal the powers of One Punch Man or essentially just copy them? Let's find out. Here we go. <gasps> Did I just figure out a way on how to just defeat One Punch Man? Oh my, that's amazing. Okay, we need to see that these powers are working. Human, One Punch Man, boom. Yeah. You see, okay, so the shapeshifter is not really able to duplicate the, oh, sorry, duplicate the powers. So 
I think the previous One Punch Man was actually just an imposter. This guy is the real deal, okay? This is the One Punch Man that everybody is afraid of. And just to prove it to you... Uh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. It's, oh, it's working. What the crap? It's actually working! I stole the powers of One Punch Man! I can't even... Just get away! We've got a shapeshifter that has turned into One Punch Man and we can see if it actually works now. So here we go. Activate punching. Crap. I thought I, I thought I cracked it. So once you cannot copy people, you need to modify them, which is what this dude over here to the left is. He's got a robot arm of sorts, and I think I can shoot arrows with it. Oh, crap. How the hell did, how did this work? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Okay. okay. All right. Let's give this another whirl, then. How do I shoot with this arm? There's, there's bound to be, like, a way I can just activate it, right? Hmm. I think there's a shotgun and a pistol hidden inside this arm. broken so you might have heard of katana man you might have heard of chainsaw man but have you ever heard of bazooka man or rocket man whatever you want to call him this is a guy that is able to shoot rockets from his eyeballs or whatever that is i think that's this actually like his skull but yeah he's, he's able to shoot rockets like this look how powerful is that oh he just blew his own foot off and he's also got arms for rocket launchers of course because why not? Why Why don't you have... Oh my god! Oh crap, sorry! Did he have a bell in his head? I heard a... I'm pretty sure I heard a bell. Okay. Do, 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 do. I just thought I, I just thought I'd show it. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Rock, rocket Man. Uh, yay! Ray, rocket Man. Subscribe for more Rocket Man. So, at what point does the mods become too big to handle? Because this over here might look like a spaceship to somebody, but um, let me tell you. It's nothing like a spaceship. It's a freaking Godzilla. Look at this bad boy. Oh, no, there is a puny human. Oh, my God. And I even think this dude can shoot laser f lasers from his mouth. Um, I don't, I don't know exactly. Oh, my God. I pressed something. Ah, shoot lasers. Ah, lasers. Ah. Oh, my God. Okay, where does this hit? It hits over there. So, oh, puny human. We just need to put a human right over there. And then, um... You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna press and see what happens. Ah! Oh look! It even charges from like the tail. That's amazing. And this human, well, you can see the small little bits of bits and bobs. Pun intended. So what's better than having just one human to have this Godzilla spew blue flames into? Well, what about a dozen of them? Here we go. Open the mouth and Oh, my God, it explodes. Oh, cry. Oh, this is, this is an amazing thing. This packs such a big punch. One thing that I will say about this whole thing, though, is the fact that this mouth here, it's not really as, um, you know, chewy as I would like it to be. It's not really numbing on the humans. So I've fixed it. Say hello to the modified Godzilla. This guy is able to chew humans at ferocious speeds. I don't know if that's the correct sentence, but if we activate this thing over here, look, he, he can chew. Look at that. Nom, 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 nom. Now we just need a way to put humans in his face hole so that we don't need to just constantly lift them in there. And we also need to like tilt it like this so that, you know, it's more appropriate I, or something. Uh, I think I've solved it. Look, it, I, I only had to put him in like a weird place, whatever, like position, but it works. He's chewing and it looks magnificent. We just need a way to feed humans into him. And would you look at that? A perfectly aligned conveyor belt with already the humans standing by, ready to be chewed up by Godzilla over here. Now, there's just one problem. This over here. This requires something to press it with. Now, what better way to do it with than the handy dandy hand? Okay, let's press the button and hope for the best. Let's see. Oh, my contraction works. Okay. Activate the chewing motion. Here we go. Uh, it's not really... If you can chew a little bit... Uh, the humans are coming, man. Y you need to... Okay, it's not really. Oh boy! Oh, they're all. They're, oh, this is this is failing a little bit. 
Maybe I can help you a little bit. Like this. There you go. Open up like that. And just let them fall in. It'll all taste better once they're all in there. There you go. Fall it on. More. Come on, man. Fall it. Oh, Christ. What happened? I don't know what happened. Nom, 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 nom. Nom. I'm Godzilla likes humans. Ah, ah, ah. I just realized it's a lot more efficient if I just do it myself. Oh, no, it works automatically. Perfect. Humans are being fed to him like it's no big deal. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. Works like a charm. Usually, my contraptions never do. But now, they do. These guys are way too slow. Speed. There you go. And into the mouth and chew. But I'm sure he enjoys, you know, the supper that I've served to him. Oh, and also, this conveyor belt? It didn't look like this to begin with. It looked like this to begin with. Over here at the end, it slowly shrinks down in size and eventually whatever we put on the conveyor belt will get shredded into pieces and it will hurt. So, as I stated in the beginning, we're gonna do some tests on Herbert. This is one of them. We're gonna see if he is able to survive these knives here that's gonna slowly pierce into his brain or something. There you go. Look, Herbert is moving. Never thought you'd say see that, did you? Here we go. Any second now, Herbert is gonna go into the knives. There you go. And he broke his bottle and nothing else is really gonna happen. I must admit this was you know, designed for humans and not inanimate objects. So we're just gonna put you over here, Herbert, little buddy, like this, and you're gonna enjoy the show, okay? Did you see that, Bob? It didn't work on him. You're not getting away this time. No, you're next. Let's put Bob on the conveyor belt like this and let's have him walk just so that, you know, he thinks he can get away, but we all know that slow, slowly but surely he's making his way to the end. Oh, here it is. He's closing in. Come on, then. The first knives are going to poke your heels a little bit. Uh, Herbert is enjoying the show, man. He's having a blast. Come on, then. Right? Oh, oh. It's starting to eat into him. Oh, it's starting to eat into him. Come on. Come on work, work, work. My contraption has to work. Oh, it works. My contraption works. It does. Oh. Uh. I'm so sorry, Bob. You guys knew this had to be done right. We're gonna put one punch man on this thing and he is gonna... Uh, did I see right? He's not moving. He's bloody not moving. Why is one punch man so bloody tough? He's it, like the shapeshifter can steal powers, but he can't, he can't move on conveyor belts. What kind of rubbish one punch man are you? Ah! So I do have a better idea. We're gonna use the shapeshifter to pretend like we're one punch man. There you go. And then we're gonna, gonna put you on the conveyor belt and surely this will work, right? Oh yes, it does. Oh, it works. Uh, one punch man is slowly gonna die. Oh no. Oh boy. What is happening? One punch man is, is, is slightly over under control. Not under control, over control. He's not, he's not under control anymore. Okay, let's see now. Can this knife pierce one punch man? It doesn't look so. I think the knife is not piercing through his skin. Is it like, is he actually one punch man? Oh my God. He's slowly healing though. So he's kind of One Punch Man. That's pretty, oh, and he's back to being the shapeshifter. Oh, can the shapeshifter steal the powers of Herbert? Oh, sorry. All right, let's see now. Herbert, poke, poke, poke. Oh, it doesn't work. I can't steal the powers of Herbert. Huh? What a shame. 